ocean, over the clouds and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now let's have a wild welcome for your very friends. Stinky and Shake! Now it's the Animal Show! <laughs> Hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I'm Jake. And today our guests are two animals that eat snakes. The mongoose and the secretary bird. Uh, the mongoose? Yeah. That wouldn't by any chance be Ernie the mongoose, would it? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, it is Ernie the mongoose. Why? Oh, boy. You mean, you don't know. No what? Oh, boy. Are we in for it? No what, Stinky? And now it's time for... That's a Amazing! Today we'll find out how the secretary bird got its name. Oh, hey, I know. He's really good at taking dictation, right? Well, actually, Armstrong, there are two theories. Oh. Whoa, get a load of the feathers on his head. One theory says those feathers look so much like old-fashioned quill pens that this bird seems like a secretary ready to take a message. Hey, take a letter to my lawyer. Dear Chucklehead. <laughs> but others think he's called a secretary bird because the Arabic word for this species sounds so much like our word, secretary. Huh. Oh, wait, did I ever tell you about my cousin Al? He, he was secretary. 600 Armstrong. pecks per minute. Armstrong! I'm to... Huh? The secretary bird. Ooh. Yeah, another animal that covers for me when I leave the office early and will make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! Okay, Stinky, now tell me what's the big deal about Ernie the mongoose. Oh, well, don't get me wrong, Jake. He's not all bad. Yeah. Remember when I was having that snake trouble? Mm -hmm. He cleared it right up. So, what's the problem? Hello there! Is anybody home? He sort of likes to take over. Hey, any chance of a fanfare? That's more like it. Hey, guys, are you going to introduce me, or should I send my tail out to be pressed? Uh, uh, yes, uh, here he is from Africa and Asia. Uh, Asia. Uh, Ernie the, the mongoose. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, gentlemen, I, I was waiting so long, I, I had to get two fur cuts, but finally I'm here. Oh, uh, well, it's good to meet you, Ernie. Uh, Stinky has told me a lot about you. Snake trouble last March, am I right? Am I right? <laughs> now, before the moss grows over our feet, let's talk about me, the mongoose. Roll the film. <laughs> oh, there they are, my lovely family. That's my wife, Ernestine, my daughter, Ernestine Jr., and my son, little Ernie. You have beautiful children. Hey, they take after their old man. Uh, where do you where go? Where do we when live? You... Oh, in burrows we dig under the ground. That's one of the entrances right there. Well, who are they? Those are Springbok. They live in our neighborhood. Very quiet. Nice animal. Are there different species of mongoose? I was just going to mention that. Uh, we are what you call yellow mongoose. That's because most of the year our fur is thick and yellow. Are you able to... Jake, can I finish, please? As I was saying, we yellow mongooses have narrow heads, long bodies, and short feet, which is perfect for moving through the tunnels of our burrow. You know, fellas... I love your show, but I think you two guys talk too much. Because we're the now, hosts. Now, what do you say we take a look at a mongoose meal? You, you mean snakes? No, thank you. Today I'm in the mood for scorpions. Scorpions? But don't they have... A poisonous stinger. Yes, they do, Stinky. But that doesn't scare me. Or at least it doesn't scare your wife, Ernestine. <laughs> oh, that's very cute. You see, fellas, it's like this. We mongooses are famous for going after poisonous animals that other animals are afraid to attack. Well, doesn't their poison harm you? Well, yes, it does. But the trick is to bite off the tail before he has a chance to sting you. But if they can sting you, why do you go after them? Because we're so fast and the scorpion can't catch us. Because we're brave and we fear no animal. Because... You're hungry and there's nothing else to eat. Well, yes, that too. When you've got a family like mine to feed, you go after whatever you can find. Well, now, is it true that the yes, young... Yes, is it true that young mongooses have to learn what's safe to eat before they can be allowed to go off on their own? Yeah. Yes, Jake, it is absolutely true. Well, I guess they have to learn to watch out for lions, too. Well, yes, you can never be too safe, Stinky. But we mongooses aren't large enough for most lions to bother chasing. Looks like Ernestine isn't taking any chances. If she sees any danger, she lets out a loud chirping sound and gets the kids down the burrow fast. Ernie, could you tell us about Jake, the Jake, marsh... I hate to tell you how to do your job, but just let the guests lead the interview, okay? For instance, now I'd like to tell you about one of my cousins, the marsh mongoose. I even 
brought some pictures. Of the marsh mongoose? Sure. That's my cousin there, Arnie. Ho <laughs> ho. He's what you call a marsh mongoose because he always lives by a marsh or stream. And if you think what I eat is strange, wait till you see what Arnie likes to eat. Oh, look, a baby crocodile. That is Arnie's dinner. <laughs> he eats crocodiles? Ah, Only the tiny ones. And he's especially fond of crocodile eggs. He's a brave fella, but he's not dumb enough to tackle a full-size croc like this one. Anyway, here's what happens. One day, you're taking a walk down the beach, and the next thing you know, you see a crocodile nest and a bunch of eggs. Oh, well, it would be a shame to let something like that go to waste now. Well, Arnie better watch out for that mama crocodile. Oh, don't worry. Arnie knows she's there. Why doesn't he leave then? Well, carrying crocodile eggs is not easy for a mongoose. He pretty much has to eat the eggs right there by the nest. But isn't the mama crocodile going to be mad? Oh, she's going to be mad, all right. And if there's one thing Arnie has told me a million times, it's that crocodiles are a lot faster than they look. I'll take his word for it. Same here. Oh, here she comes. Looks like Arnie smells that croc headed his way. No use taking any chances. This is a good time to grab the shell and head on home. Uh, well, Ernie, it's been a real pleasure to oh, have you. Oh, I know what you're going to say. Oh, I know what you're hey. going to say. Well, you want me to stick around and help you with the rest of the show. Uh, well, so uh, let's keep things moving, shall we? Let's take a look at some cute little mongoose kids on Baby, Baby Talk. Talk. <laughs> What's happening? Not much, Marigold. Wanna play? Hey, Milk! Tansy wants to play! Oh, good. Uh, can I play too? Oh, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, now, if I can just figure out how to get down. Oh, there. Uh, hey, wait for me. Huh? Let's play hide and seek. It's my favorite. Oh, oh, good idea. I love hide and seek. Okay, you hide first. Okay, here I am. Uh, what are we playing? Playing hide and seek. And Tansy's hiding first. Hi, Tansy. Uh, gee, where's Tansy? I don't know. Uh, do you see Tansy? Oh, no, not me. We'd better go look for her. Oh, yeah, good idea. Uh, go this way. <laughs> oh, love this game. You see, that's the kind of thing that the little animals out there want to see. Cute babies. Now what you need is a change of pace. Well, how about a song about eating snakes? Um, I've got it. How about a song about eating snakes? Roll film. Make it quick, because it's not exactly safe around here for snakes. Here goes. Which of the following birds is the closest relative to the secretary bird? Is it the yellow-billed stork, the Galapagos hawk, the curry bustard, or the purple heron? Oh. Your answer. Uh, look, I don't know the answer, but I just saw a secretary bird. Can you get me out of here fast? Sure. <laughs> Trap door! Hey! Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> and now, the answer. A close relative of the secretary bird is the Galapagos hawk. The Galapagos hawk is not really a hawk, but a buzzard. As you may have guessed from its name, it lives on the Galapagos Islands, and there are only a few hundred Galapagos hawks left. This is one of them. 
Galapagos hawks feed on dead animals which they find, but will also kill lizards, small iguanas, and young fledgling birds. Their relatives on the mainland will eat small mammals, but as there are no native mammals on the Galapagos Islands, mammals obviously cannot be a part of this bird's diet. Here is a Galapagos hawk sitting on the back of a giant tortoise. They often sit here because it's a good place from which to scan the ground looking for potential prey. It works for the hawk, and the tortoise doesn't seem to mind. This is Rhonda Rat reporting on the Galapagos Hawk. Back to you, Stinky and Jake.